focus on tribe and because someone done something wrong because he's from Yoruba, because he's from the Niger Delta, you can't arrest that person or you can't question him. Then we are not serious. Then we can't move forward. So it has made things bad for us in the country. That is one problem we are having. Like, let me cite example in what is going on in the PDP and that of the president. You see a lot of body language and a lot of comments coming from people. Some people don't support him because he's not from this part of the the, the, the religion group or he's not from this part of some ethnic group. So you see that is happening. And there are some, some tribe categorically tell you that they are the majority. And therefore they are the bond to rule. Without them, there is no presidency or without them giving a, a vote to a particular candidate, that candidate might not win any political measure, political office like the presidency. So that is a big problem for us. I think I'm have been a soldier by now. When I finished a secondary school in Enugu, in uh, Anida Secondary School, I wanted to enter Nigerian Army. What to do to the fact that uh, I don't have uh, an Islamic name. I cannot be taken. Most of my friends have to change their names and to put Ibrahim, Mohammed, or something like that. And uh, I tell you, before you know it, they pass the exam and everything. Okay, that's a good thing because it still pens me up to today. It still pens me up to today. That was in 19. Uh, I was in 19, during the military regime, I couldn't rem remember the particular year, but there was this recruitment that was going on then, and all of us came there, and we submitted our names. I'm telling you that about 60 of us were dropped. And what happens again is that among these 60 people that we were dropped, they attached Muslim names to their name, and they were taken immediately. Which means, in Nigerian and now, they now, let's assume, the people they drop, they take them as people who are not qualified to join Nigerian and But now they change their name, they automatically qualify to be, to be Nigerian and which means that there are a lot of people who are into Nigerian army, not because that they know what they are doing, but because they belong to a particular religion or because they bear a particular name that is uh, uh, maybe recognized by some people who think they own the system. I want to emphatically and honestly disregard Mr. Honor's statement. Why? Number one, I grew up in Nigerian Defense Academy, NDA Kaduna. Okay. My father is a military officer. Okay. So, I wanted to be a military officer just like him, but I couldn't get it. Why didn't I get it? Because my dad is not a general. Because I am not rich. Now, what Mr. Honor is saying is false in all totality. Nigerian as a, as a nation, we have quota system. In the military, as what he's saying, every recruitment starts from state level. So it is your state, you deal with your state until you get to the final stage. That is, if they are taken from national state, five candidates, they are going to be taken from Oyo, Ibadan, all your state, five, five candidates. The only time you see the northern guys have the upper hand, maybe they give them like seven instead of five. So how can they tell you to go and change your name to Abdullah? It has not happened in the Nigerian army. What you will tell me, they can manipulate the numbers. Because if you say you are recruiting, it is from state region. It's not a national something. You start from your state screening down until you you have been selected. You face the board. Everything you do is going to be state level. It is not just being generalized like jam or like. It is something that does with state level. I from for example, I did navy navy program. I went to data state. This is the combined data and Edo state together. So our screening period was to be in data state. So we went to data state. It is when you pass from data state, your name appears in the papers, 
and you go for your training, which will be maybe in quota court. So it doesn't have anything to do with that because there is a quota system in place. Nigeria have quota system which is being respected. But the only problem where you see in that quota system, that is why I talk about nepotism and cronyism. Like the generals, you are writing exam with the general children. Even if they don't pass the exam, a general, a general will not allow a civilian to just come and override them. So that is the only thing I think happened. They don't allow, if you don't know somebody in the military, you cannot get that slot easily unless you are a divine candidate. So I'm telling you the real truth is this. If Nigerians are going according to people who are qualified to man an affairs of a particular post, Nigeria will be competing with the other European or Western nations. What do they have that we don't have upstairs? In terms of natural thinking, uh, come on, everything is not going to school. There is that natural environment given to you by your God. And I can tell you that the African man has it number one before you talk of being educated. That, that uh, IQ is there as an individual. Then how can you deprive somebody the right of being what he wants to be because he don't belong to a particular religion or a particular section? And one thing again I want to chip in, there's somebody who is saying that uh, the thing is coming down for this uh, particular generation. And it is not true. If you follow Vanguard newspaper, where people comment, you will see that we are even worse than the older generations. Just watch the comments of the youth there. Well, let me say, the reason why we don't focus on, like, ethnicity in terms of tourism, where it may actually be useful, is that it, it doesn't pay anybody directly. Um, like the previous people were saying that the institutions in place in Nigeria, at almost every level of life, are set to reinforce tribalism. You know, but if, take for example, if you go to a wedding in in Lagos, and the groom and the bride are Yoruba. Most of the guests will be Yoruba. If you go to a wedding in the East, and the groom and the bride, are, are, the bride and the groom rather are Igbo, then most of the guests and people will be Igbo. We marry amongst ourselves. We elect ourselves. If you go to a church, you know, even churches, you'll see that they have ethnic complexities to them. That every institution in our life is geared towards towards tribalism. The reason why that tribalism is the only means of access for many poor people to the the resources of the state. You know, you think that if, if somebody from your state becomes governor, chairman, whatever, or president or whatever, it will directly benefit you somehow. In terms of tourism, we haven't made that connection yet. If we can if we can show people that yes, if you are able to accentuate your tribe and your cultural identity and it will bring foreigners or whoever to your state and it will give you money basically, then people will be honest, people will do it. But I don't think we've anybody has tried to do it yet. If they can do that, because any way you want to call it, we are we are made up of tribes, and therefore we have to promote our culture and our tradition. But if we don't do it, if we do it in a way to to live with one another peacefully, it's very right. But if we are trying to do it in a way whereby if if you are not from a particular tribe, you can't hold this post. That is very bad. Like what my friend said about the army stuff, those are things happen. I, I was coming from, I traveled from Asaba to, to Saple. I was in a bus with a, a, a group of young uh, boys, and they were discussing. One of them is in Nigeria Defense Academy. And he told me that his name is Zaid. I said, where are you from? He said he's from a member state. But I said, why Zaid? Are you Muslim? He said, no. He said, these are the way you can use before you go into that place. Yeah, because if they see some kind of names like uh, a Mecca and the rest, said, they will throw you out. So he has to change his name and maybe him to get that. We've seen the president is from the minority ethnic group in Nigeria. He's ruling Nigeria today. The chief of army staff today is from River State. Is minority. What I'm still saying, Nigeria is not having tribal issue. Our politicians are united. We, the poor class, the minor, the the low class people, we are just being fooling ourselves. 
Now, that's how heated the debate gets when issues of this magnitude are being discussed. Don't forget to make your voice heard. Tweet your thoughts to at Victor underscore MBID.